Hello? Hello? Hi, Alejandro. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you, Alejandro? I'm really good. Yep. Ali, Ali, yeah, Alejandro, we can hear you. you. Yeah, but Alejandro, um, the quality is very bad. Very bad? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. What? No, okay. no, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's just, it's, uh. Yeah, I, I try to, again, you sir. Okay. Hello, uh, Dayan? Am I pronouncing yep. your name properly? Uh, Diane? Yep. Yep. Hey, Diane. Hey, how are you? Go ahead, smile, Pretty man. Good. You're in Colingo. Yeah. Boy, you have a fantastic smile, too. Wow. Such nice teeth. Thanks. Very good. Very good. Have you, uh, did you have braces when you were younger? You know, braces no. that you get on your teeth? No. no. Wow. No. All natural. Well, good for you. Good for you. Where, where are you from, uh, Diane? Actually, I'm from Indonesia, but now I'm currently studying in the United States. I'm an exchange student in the United States. I'm staying mm -hmm. in Minnesota. You're in Minnesota? Yes. Wow, to go from Indonesia to Minnesota. And by the way, I'm very familiar with Asia. I've lived in many different countries in Asia, including your, your uh, neighbor in Singapore. And also um, in the Philippines, so I'm very familiar with the environment, things like that. So wow, you yeah, go from that nice, nice warm environment to the uh, the cold <laughs> depths of Minnesota. <laughs> it's, it's really cold down here. It's like this night. It's around nine Fahrenheit, which is minus something, minus twelve or minus thirty. I don't, yeah. even, I don't know. I'm sure. Yeah. Yep, stay bundled up, you know, keep warm. Thanks. So, and that's good, too. Also, in Minnesota, they kind of, they, they call it Minnesota, right? They have, like, a different yep. accent there. Yeah, you betcha, yep. right? Yep. Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's just kind of you'll find in the United States. Um, you know, a lot of people have moved to Minnesota and so forth. So it's not like you have yep. back 20 years ago where you have people with the same type of accent. But you will find the natives have a, um, a very distinct accent. So well, good, good. Nice to meet you, Diane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you too. Yep. Hello, Abdus. Hello, sir. How are you? Good, good, good. It's always a nice picture of you, Abdus. So, how are uh, how are you doing today? Is everything fine? Yes, yeah, sir. It's fine today. Good, good. I hope it's fine every day. Glad to have you back in class. Hello, uh, and I hope I get it right. Jagdish. Yes. <coughs> okay. Good morning, sir. Yeah, you helped me with the pronunciation before, so I wanted to make sure that I got it right this time. So good, uh -huh. good, Jagdish. Jagdish. Yeah. Jagdish. Yep. Yeah. Jagdish. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And hey, Luis is back again. All right. Good. 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 Hello. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> so good. Fantastic. So those of you that are outside the Hangout, um, you can try to come in. Click on the link. I just provided the link. So if you want to come in the Hangout, great. Just make sure that your microphone's working. Uh, try not to come in the hangout if you have two dogs that are trying to kill each other in the background. Um, it's also not good to to, uh, to come into the hangout if you have roosters crowing or if you have your mom that's yelling at your younger sister. Okay, but you can come in if you don't have any of those factors. <laughs> uh, you, you'd be surprised. So um, let's see who else. Hey, Juan. Hello, Juan. Hey, Juan, you can say hi. It's all right. Can you can you hear me? Hi. Hi. How are you, Juan? Fine, fine. You? Fine. Doing doing very well. Doing very well. Good. Where are you from, Juan? Uh, I'm from Camuapa, Nicaragua. 
Okay, good, good, good. Well, welcome to class. Uh, have you been? I, I guess you might have been taking classes at Colingo because I see Luisa, um, you know, uh, greeted you at the big wand. So good, good, good. All right. So uh, welcome, welcome. Thank and you. And Mauricio, you're welcome. Mauricio, you are such a funny guy. So Mauricio <laughs> was so nice. He was able to help me um, overcome a common problem that is, that is yeah, we, we can't be enough. Dumb Americans, right? Because we're all Americans if we're in the Americans, but as dumb people in the U.S. do, we spell Colombian <laughs> wrong. So, uh, so thanks, Juan. That was uh, that was funny. That was funny. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you, man. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Brad. I miss you too. Well, I I I have pre I have been preparing uh, Spanish classes. You are very welcome, by the way. Okay. Okay. Yes, it is going. Uh, but tomorrow is the, is going to be the first time. It was going to be the first lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, we are very expect, uh, how do you say uh, expecting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, actually, this year, I, I think I've told you before. You know, um, we have a. Uh, we actually have a small, very small company that we have Filipinos that speak to Chinese children, and what they do is they help them with, uh, you know, their English and so forth. Uh, what we started this year is we actually started to where we are speaking Chinese in the company. So, so our main focus right now, not that I wouldn't want to spend some time um, working on my Spanish, but right now we're so focused on Chinese. Um, but I'll see if I, I'll see if I can get some time. I, I do need to brush up on my Spanish. You know, I've completely lost my uh, my skills. So did you ever ask? I you, ask you, something? you can ask me more than something. What is it? <laughs> can you speak Philippine? Kamustaka. Yeah, Storiaje. If you if you learn the new one they have, which is a Storiaje. Have you heard that one yet? Yeah, I have. I have heard that one. Yeah. I used to learn it. Tagalog too. Yeah, I, you know, I've uh, I've been speaking some Bisaya, and the reason I've been speaking Bisaya is because I'm in Cebu, uh, so they they prefer to speak Bisaya instead of Tagalog. But you know what? They speak so much English down here that um, yeah, you know, we I try know. to focus just Philippines. on English. Yep. yep. Philippines really good in English. Than yep. their all their main language. Yep, yep, yep. Very much so. Uh, let's see, and we have one more. Uh, hello, Nerio. Am I am I pronouncing it right, Nerio? Hello. Hello. How are you? I am fine, thanks. I I have some problems with my connection. I can listen very well. Okay, I'll tell you what'll help. It'll help, not that we don't want to see your beautiful face, but it'll help if you turn your camera off because your camera takes up more more um, bandwidth. Okay? I don't so know. just. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's okay. Somebody, it's it's somebody. okay. Let, mm -hmm. let, me, let me help you. Okay? Let me help you. Okay? So, what you want to do, all right, just watch the screen, okay? What you want to do is go up here. Do you see this? Oh, he's gone. Okay, all right. Maybe it was my screen share of my face that scared him off. Who knows? <laughs> all right? But, um, but for those of you that have a good connection, feel free to leave your camera on because, you know, it's, it's good to see facial expressions and things like that because sometimes, I, you know, I'll be teaching something and I can see somebody go, you know, then I know. Hey, they need a little bit more time being taught. So, so good. So, uh, let's. We're still waiting for a few more people here. And thank you, Mauricio. So, Mauricio, uh, is this your first time teaching Spanish, or have you taught before? No, this is the first time speak uh, teaching Spanish. I think it's okay. is going to be. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but but it's different from English. Mm -hmm. It's yep. totally different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lo siento porque yo estudio poquito español. Yo vamos, yo entiendo oh, poquito. Porque, porque en Costa Rica tres meses. So, that's, 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 Se entiende muy bien, sí. 
Claro uh, que sí. Gracias, claro, claro. Gracias, gracias. Yeah, but what happened was is I was in Costa Rica when I was 22 years old and some events happened in Costa Rica where I ended up by myself. And this is 18 years ago. You know. And they didn't have uh yeah, one second, Neri, I'll be right with you. Just real quick, I'll just finish this story. So what happened was I had to learn that's the only way I could live, right? Because I was there for, like I said, you know, three months. So I just started picking it up. Luckily, there were some people that could speak a little bit of English. Then finally, you know, it just kind of grew and grew and grew. Uh, and then after that, I came back home and I spoke at some because I had a really good friend from Mexico. Um, and we would screw around and speak Spanish and everything else. But uh, once I went to China, and I started to learn Chinese. I didn't have a teacher because I, uh, it's a long story. I just picked up the language, but what happened is my mind just got so far off of Spanish and I just couldn't, I could not speak as well anymore. Um, but uh, anyway. You forget it. <laughs> yeah, no, I forgot but you have it. A good, uh, no, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. That that's it. I forgot yeah. it. You know, I forgot forgot how to uh, speak properly. So. Can I? Speak? No, Can I speak? but I I, I don't think so. You, you you have a good memory, and you pronounce your, pron your pronunciation is very very good. Is very good. Maybe well, some words. Maybe uh, some I mean, words. But in general, you your pronunciation is very good. Oh well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think yeah, that we're the, good. the correct the correct form to say is that he he lost practice. <laughs> I lack practice. Yes, I need to practice. So I need to practice. But again, there's only so much time in the day, unfortunately. But I'll tell you, I think Spanish, and I'll get class started. I'm sorry to be on the subject so long, but I think Spanish is such a beautiful language. I mean, it's just, uh, to me, it just is so beautiful. Gosh, it just, uh, anyway, I, I wish I did have more time, especially uh, compared to speaking Chinese. Wow. Anyway, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry to spend so much time talking about myself. What well, a terrible well thank day. you for your comments. I totally yeah. agree. Spanish is so beautiful. That, deserve, that deserves to be, to be learned. Yeah, yeah, very, uh, very much so. And you have English, Chinese, and Spanish, top three languages. You master those, you can master the world. Okay, so, <laughs> so good. Okay. So, <laughs> or at least master your own world. So for those of you that are outside the Hangout, please feel free to join in. Okay, and I gave you the link. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about must, have to, all right? And some of this can be a little bit confusing, all right? And the reason it can be confusing is when we get to this section here. So there's also should, needs, might, all right? So these kind of all go together. I know we're only focused on the other parts, but when you start to get into this, it changes the meaning slightly. The key word is slightly, okay? Just so we can understand the differences. You know, he could get to work earlier as opposed to he must, or he should, or he needs to, or he might, or he has, okay? And then we can talk about giving advice. We're going to give advice to each other today. We're going to learn how to give advice to each other properly, and also, too, how to accept advice. In a, uh, in a nice uh, manner, okay? Just like earlier in the class with um, Mauricio, he gave me the opportunity, you know, gave me some advice to attend the class, and I had to cordially uh, explain that, unfortunately, there's other things that are um, occupying my time, okay? So, okay, good. So, um, let me go ahead and share the link here. Okay. And, yeah, again, those of you that are on the outside, feel free to come in. And... Um, Diane, one thing that's always good to do, and also to uh, Jagdish, when you guys are not speaking, please mute your microphone because we can hear little sounds back and forth, and it just makes everything clear. I'll go ahead and mute everybody right now, and you can hear the difference, okay? It's real easy to unmute yourself. Let me. Okay, so do you hear how clear it is right now? So clear. So much easier to hear. So just make sure you stay muted when you're not speaking. Okay, Abdus. Yes, sir. 
Okay, good. So you're unmuted. And again, folks, it's so clear, so easy, easy to hear. Even I mute myself, and sometimes I forget to unmute myself. But uh, Abdus, let's go ahead and start talking about this. Let's read this background here on must and have to, okay? Go ahead. From the beginning? Uh, yes, yes, from the must and have to. Go ahead. Okay. Must and have to in the positive or question form are used to speak about responsibilities and obligations. Sometimes must and have to can be exchanged, but the general rule is that must is used for strong personal obligation. I must do this right now. And have to is used for responsibilities. I have to file report every week. Don't have to and mustn't ha have very different meanings. Don't have to is used to express that something is not required. Mustn't is used to express that something is prohibited. Uh, in general, must is used in everybody situa everyday situations in which something important occurs and requires an immediate action. Have to is often used to discuss our daily responsibilities and is commonly used to describe workplace situations. Many times have to is used in place of must in informal English. Okay, good, 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 good. So let's just look at some of this up here, right? Okay, so don't have to, mustn't, just different ways that we um, express things that are required, not required, and also to, um, you know, like it says, prohibited. So prohibited is not allowed. All right? So um, let's just work on some of this, okay? Let's give some advice that we have to each other. Let's start off with don't have to, okay? All right? So um, let's work on this here. Okay, so don't have to. All right, so Mauricio, yes, what's, sir? What's, some, what's something that you don't have to do? I don't have to, let me see. Hmm. Uh, well, maybe to attend cleaning classes, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Now yep, it's, yep, uh, you don't it's have to. Yes, it's an addiction right now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to attend um, Colingo classes, uh, but must you attend them to improve your English? Yes, that's correct. Okay, okay, good, good, good. All right, Louisa, what's something that you don't have to do? Ah, uh, okay. I don't have to forget to brush my teeth after every meal. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to brush my teeth after every meal. Yep, yep, and it's okay. You, do, you don't need to worry about the forget to, okay? But good, good. So if you want to have a bright, smiley, shiny, fa or shiny teeth like Diane, okay, must you brush your teeth? Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, good, good. That's a killer smile. Okay, so Juan, what's something that you don't have to do? Um, I don't have to go bed until the class ends. Okay, you don't, you don't have to, so you can say you don't have to go to bed until you want to, right? Okay, okay. Okay, um, okay. but in order to do your job well, must you get the proper amount of sleep? Um, excuse me, I, I can't understand what, what do you say? It's okay, not a problem, let me help you, okay? And I'll okay. speak a little slower. So, do you have a job? Yeah, I have a job. Okay, so if you want to do your job properly, must you have the right amount of sleep. Yes, yes, I got. Okay. It. Yes, I. Okay, got. good, good, good. Okay, and uh, Jagdish. Yes. What's something that you don't have to do? I don't have to smoke in public area. Okay, you don't have to smoke in the public area. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Okay, and. Um, uh, is there any laws about smoking in the public area? 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, because a uh, smoker doesn't harm to smoke, but uh, other is, <coughs> others are um, getting some problem. Okay. Due so because smoke. the... Uh -huh. Yep. So yeah, and smokers are people who smoke. So for you, you must not smoke in public areas where there's a law against it, right? Okay, good. Good, good. Hey, Denise is back. What's going on, Denise? Hello. So Denise, um, we're working right now on don't have to and must, okay? So what's something that you don't have to do? Um, what's... Hmm? I don't have uh, you were talking about the smoke. I don't have to smoke in public places. Yeah, but no, some something just for you, like you know, some people they don't have to brush their teeth after every meal, but to have shiny, bright smile, they must. Okay, some people um, don't have to go to bed until they want to, but if they want to do well at their job, they must get enough sleep. So, what about you, Denise? What's some things that you don't have to do? Um, I don't have to get up. Uh, I don't have to get up early every morning. Okay. All right. So, and you're a teacher, right? Yes, I am. Okay, but you must get up on time in order to make it to class, right? Yes, that's it. But okay. now we are on vacation, so I don't oh, have to hey. get up early. <laughs> Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Very good. Very good. Thanks for thanks for clarifying. Um, okay. Diane, what about you? What is something that you have don't to, have to do? I don't have to do in my homework because I'm super awesome. You don't you don't have to do your homework? Yes. And and why don't you have to do your homework? Somebody because doing I'm it awesome. for you? Because, I'm because awesome. why? I'm sorry. I'm awesome. Say that again. Because you're awesome. A W E S O M, awesome. Yep. <laughs> okay. So let me ask you something. Does your teacher require you to give them homework assignments or turn in your homework? Yep. Okay. Even I'm so an exchange student in America. I have to do like the same with American students. Okay, so so you must turn it in to get a good grade. You don't have to turn in your homework, but if you never turn in your homework, you'll probably fail. So Abdus, yeah. Abdus, uh, what's uh what's something you don't have to do? For today, I don't have to go to college uh, because it's uh, off for today. Okay, and uh, All right. I. I must uh, take classes on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, good, good, good. All right, and um, and uh, the Than Than Win, hello. Yep. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Than. Can you hear? Uh, I can hear Diane. I can hear. I can hear Abdus. Can you guys hear me? Yep, I can. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, somebody had come into class, but they left already. Okay, all right. So this just talks about some of the responsibilities now. It gets into that area. So, Diane, can you uh, can you read this for us? This have to? Have to do? Can you scroll down? Mm -hmm. uh, how about now in here? It has to do responsibilities. You have to, in the past, present, and future to express responsibility or necessity. Not have to is conjugated as a regular verb and therefore requires an auxiliary verb in the equation form or negative. Example, we have to get up early. She, she had to work hard, hard every day. Yesterday, I mean, they will have to arrive early. Does he have to go? Okay, and let's go. Uh, let's continue on with the must do obligations. Okay, must obligation. You must to express something that you or a person feels is necessarily necessary. This form is used only in the present and 
future. Example, I must finish this work before I leave. Must you work so hard? John must explain this if he wants his students to succeed. 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 It's late. I must get going. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, all right. So we've already gone over some don't have to, uh, some must do, different obligations and things like that, okay? And then, um, yeah, let's go through here. So, Denise. Yeah? Don't have to do, okay? Mm -hmm. Can you read for us that section? Can you see that? Don't have don't to have do, okay. Mm -hmm. Please, a moment. Um, okay, don't have to do, not required. The negative form of have to expresses the idea that something is not required. It is, however, possible if so desired. Example, you don't have to arrive before 8. They didn't have to work so hard. We don't have to work overtime on Saturday. She didn't have to attend the presentation. Okay, just that or continue? Go, go ahead, please. Okay, mustn't do. Prohibition. The negative form of must expresses the idea that something is prohibited. This form is very different in meaning than the negative of have to. Example, she mustn't use such horrible language. Tom, you mustn't play with fire. You mustn't drive more than 25 um, mph in this zone. Uh, the children mustn't go into the street. Important, the past form of have to and must is had to. Must does not exist in the past. Examples. Did, sh did he have to leave so early? He had to stay overnight in Dallas. She had to pick the children up from school. Did they have to do the work over again? Okay, no. good, good, okay, good. No, no, it, yep, no, it's good, it's good. So this is important here, all right? So, but also, too, you might have heard um, somebody say, he must have committed the crime, okay? So, yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't exist in the past unless you have an have, okay? All right? So he, mu he must have been married before because he hides that fact from us, Okay? So people do use that, but they use the have just in case you've ever heard that. Um, and yeah, you must not um, you you must not cuss, right? You must not go. Um, you must not. Uh, yeah. So all the uh, so Louisa, you can say must not. Okay. So mustn't is just when it's you know. In, the, in that form, right? Okay. So, uh, okay, good. And I myself, I always prefer to say have not instead of haven't. Instead of will, I always like we will. For some reason, I always like to uh, to try to speak that way and write that way, even though you can use, um, use the shorter versions of it. Okay, so good. So, if you feel a little confused by all of this, it's okay, all right? All right, these rules are just so slight, all right, and their meaning and so forth. So don't don't be overwhelmed if for some reason you're sitting there and you're trying to figure out when do I use it in this form, when do I use it in that form. It's something that you'll learn as you go along, um, so don't worry so much about that. And if you want to get really, really confused here, okay, now we start to talk about this, okay? And this is when we're mixing in more than just the must, have to, and so forth, all right? So this is when we start to look into uh, could, right, must, should, and different things like that. So when we look at this, what would you think 
the definition. Um, let's see, Jagdish, what yeah. would you think the definition of Jack could get to work earlier? What do you think that would mean? And Jack will have to do uh, work earlier. Okay. Um, Jack could get to work earlier, so it's possible for him to get to work yeah, earlier, possible. right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then Juan, how about Jack must get to work earlier? Um. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we can yeah. hear you. So, yeah. so if I was to say to you, Jack must get to work earlier. Can you explain what that means? Like we were talking about Jack. Jack could get to work earlier. We're saying it's possible for him. But if we said Jack must get to work earlier, why do you think that is? Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. I, I think he. Uh, you're talking about that he he may have a, a, any problem to go to go work early, so he couldn't he couldn't go, but. But may he may must have to go. Oh, um, I don't know. I I'm confused. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. So it's more of a requirement, or like Luisa says, an obligation. So maybe what's happened with Jack is that Jack's been late to work a lot, and maybe mm -hmm. he's going to be fired if he does not get to work earlier. Okay, and then okay. Luisa, let's just get it even more confusing. How about Jack should get to work earlier? Uh, and should, it is like an advice. Mm-hmm. Yep. So why, why do you think Jack should get to work earlier? What could be going on in his work situation to where somebody would say he should get to work earlier? Um, um, I, I think it's uh, like you said. Maybe Jack is uh, always late for work. So he should start uh, going to work early mm -hmm. because yep. he's going to be in trouble. Yeah, and I would think I would think maybe should it might be in a, it's could be in a situation like that. And again, the reason I bring this up is to add to the confusion a little bit. Okay, all right. When you look at these words and just how similar they are, so that could also be where you know Jack should get to work earlier because maybe he's been late a lot. Or maybe Jack should get to work earlier because he's looking to get a promotion. So he wants to make sure that he's to work at, at work early enough. Okay? So I would say must is when he's going to get fired. Should might have a little bit less of a reason. Okay, Mauricio. Must is, must is for, for, for obligation? Yeah, must is you have to. Okay? Should is a recommendation. Okay? okay. But it also could be a recommendation just like you should brush your teeth after every meal if you want to have bright teeth okay you know yeah. bright shiny teeth it's so, it's you know. her, so mm, so yeah it's it's very very close is what were you saying one uh, it's advice is a recommendation some uh, something like this so should yeah should is more of advice it's more mm -hmm. of like advice okay all right, okay. and then Mauricio, Jack needs to get to work earlier. Mm, there's there's no option for for Jack, so I think uh, he he <clears throat> not not have, but yeah, in a certain way he has to work to get to work earlier. Yep, yep, exactly, exactly, and that falls also into like to the must. As well, you know, there's just there's a reason why he has to get there. Okay, and then uh, Nerio, can you hear us, Nerio? I think he's a little. I think he's locked up again. So Abdus. Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. How about uh, Jack? Might how about Jack might get to work earlier? Uh, might is uh, not necessary, but he should try it. Uh, that he should get up earlier. Yeah, and it's not really advice. It's just you know, it's it's kind of like people talk. You know, Jack might get to work earlier, you know, if he really tried, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, good. And then uh, Jack has to get to work earlier, Diane. 
And you might you might be muted, Diane. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I can hear you, yep. Yeah, so Jack has to get to work earlier. So were you, were, were you chatting on Facebook? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you, Diane. But um yeah, Jack has That's to get to work great. earlier. <laughs> so, so it means Jack Jack must to go to work earlier. Uh, so it's it's kind of like you know he needs to. It's almost along the same thing as he as he um, uh, has to. And uh, could you do more examples with might? Uh, yeah, we'll get into more examples with might. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have any here, but I can write some out. Okay. Um, Denise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So here here's where we get into the negative form okay so Jack couldn't get to work earlier why is that it's a possibility uh, this is in the negative okay could not Jack could not so, get to work earlier so why do you think that is it's, mm, I don't know maybe an obligation that he couldn't do yeah, so maybe he couldn't get to work earlier because he has to take his child to school. Could be an example, right? Okay. And uh, Jagdish. Yeah. Okay. Jack doesn't have to get to get to work earlier. Mm. That doesn't get to work earlier. Means uh, I think. Um, that is, um, I'm confused. It's okay. So it's the negative. He does not, right, have not. to get to work early. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, no. I can't say. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, so so what this is, um, like Mauricio pointed out, maybe because he is rich, or he might have permission to get to work later, okay? He doesn't have to get yeah. to work earlier. Or maybe he can just get to work just on time. And Juan, okay? Okay. okay. So, so th this one's a negative. So Jack mustn't get to work earlier. What does that mean? He must not get to work earlier. Okay. Uh, I think is that he, he, he mustn't get... He can't. He he don't have, don't have. <laughs> I don't know. Um, arrive, get the uh, to work. Before, yeah, yeah. Before 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 an hour an hour ex uh, determinate or how to say, just the uh, the the chief the boss say you got to come to work and determinate hour, but but. I think he got the option to get to work later. Yeah, so this one is where it's uh, okay. I, uh, he, he don't he, he he doesn't have the obligation to get the work early. Uh, so so if you don't have the obligation, then that would be he doesn't have to. If mm -hmm. Jack must not, then that means he. Absolutely, positively, 100% um, will not go to work earlier. Okay, okay. he could get okay. in trouble. Okay, ah, good. Okay, good, okay, good. okay, okay. And for the last confu yep, for the last confusing one, Louisa, Jack shouldn't get to work earlier. Okay, um, shouldn't get to work. Well, I'm gonna say it's, it's an okay. advice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so so it's advice. Sure. So yeah, so he shouldn't get to work earlier. Maybe there's something that's going on at his workplace to where he shouldn't get to work earlier. Maybe there's um, you know, an employee that he doesn't get along with, and if he's at work earlier, he'll have to face him. 
so he shouldn't get to work earlier. Okay, so no problem. So, so you wanted some examples of might. Okay, I yes, might. I don't understand yep. mm -hmm. the word. I might. Yep, I might go out to dinner with my friend. Okay, so there's a, it's a possibility. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you think of might as a possibility. Okay. Um, I might lose. I might decide to exercise and lose some weight this year. Okay, so it's Brad, a possibility. Mm -hmm. Brad, excuse me. And what it is? What is the difference between might and may? Uh, between might and may, you know what? There's a whole class on that. Well, not not a whole class, but might and may. Ah, yeah, you know what? It's really actually, I, I think they have it in here, right in May, because it is such a, there's such a slight difference in this, okay? All right. And I think May has to do more with permissions in this, okay? Um, but yeah, let's see, wow, that one's not it, okay? Because it is something I'm always confused about. Yeah, no, no, no. So, so may I borrow some money? Okay, all right. Okay. Um, I might borrow some money from you. Okay, so may is usually asking more with permission for things, and also may and might are very similar. Um, when it comes to uh, doing something. So I may go out to dinner with my friends tonight. I might go out with my dinner to dinner with my friends tonight. There's really, and I'm trying to see if they had just a may versus might. Okay. There's something here. It's quick and dirty tips. Because, yeah, this one is, uh, don't, don't worry, sometimes even with us native speakers, it's... Um, from the same issue. Wow, that's a podcast. Okay. So I guess I'm messing it up then because here, uh, might is the past tense of may. Okay. A, I may have gone to the party. Sorry, you know. Brett. Yeah, go ahead. Am I breaking uh, up? Yeah, might could be could be like a moral option. A, a moral obligation. Um, might, yeah. Might. I don't know if it's used in a uh, in a moral obligation. Okay, in here it's just talking about the tenses. Okay, so and also you might clean your room, but you may call your friend later. So, so in here, and pardon me, I apologize for not having the answer right off the bat but at least I'll tell you if I don't know something so I make sure that you get it perfect, okay? Um, so yeah, so just might is subtle. Here's one of the things in here, right? They both indicate that something is possible, um, something may happen is more likely than something might happen, <laughs> okay? I mean, does, it, does, this, does this even help out? Yeah, I'll give you the link, but I'm just saying these... Uh, and again, this whole thing of showing you all of these together is just to let you know and not to worry about the fact that there's just these subtle differences. You have to learn the subtle differences, but a lot of things um, or some of these things are so interconnected, okay? And that's the link for it, and let me blow it up. But again, you know, it's just subtle like it says. There's just a very slight difference in here, okay? And in here they're explaining that something is more likely to happen uh, than might happen, you know, when it's May, all right? So I may go out to dinner with my friend tonight, or I might go out with my dinner, or to dinner with my friend tonight. So, you know, what's the big difference? If I say May, then that just means that there's a higher possibility that I'm going to go to dinner tonight. You see what I'm saying? All right. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit, little bit more to this as well. Okay. And the past tense. Hmm. Yeah. But go ahead. Just take a take a look in that at this a little bit later on. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. But does that help you? Does that help you out, Louisa? 
or does it just add to more confusion? <laughs> Okay, uh, may, uh, well, I understand that may is like for asking for permission, right? Yes, but it also can be used the same as, like I was using in the example, let me use another example. Um, you know, I may go for a walk today. I might go for a walk today. And according to this, it's saying that if I say may, then what that means is it's more likely to happen than if I use might. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You know. Yeah. So that's yeah. In that um, and again, I mean, how how subtle is that? How slight of a difference is that? <laughs> okay. You know, very uh, very confusing. Okay. But that again, that's why we got into this, and you can see this whole list here. Okay. Of what it has for um for the answers on here as well. Okay. So good. Good, good. So, um, hmm. What do you all want to do? Do you want to take a quiz or do you want to spend some time giving each other advice? I'll tell you what, let's spend some time. It's actually, I, I, like, I like it when you guys talk, okay? So let's spend some time giving each other advice. So think about, think about two pieces of advice that you would like to give to somebody. And you could say they should, you know, uh, they should do this, and then also too think of something that they must do. All right, okay. You can just kind of interchange it, maybe one or two of each. All right. So I'll start out with Mauricio. Well, I mean, so Mauricio. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Why? Because you're on. Because you're the you're the next one in turn. Don't you remember? No, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I know, I'm just kidding. Okay. Why me? Always me. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> Mauricio. Um, you uh, you must take good care of your cat. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You should feed your cat only um, doctor prescribed food. You know, or, or vet veterinarian prescribed food. Okay. So those mm -hmm. are two pieces of advice that I have for you. All right. Well, thank you. Do, do you have any advice for me? Oh, you're welcome. So any well, any advice or anything also too that I must do? Is there anything that I must do? And it's okay. okay. Uh, well, you you should you should um, uh, you should remind rem remember your Spanish your Spanish skills, and you must. Um, I don't know. You must. Uh, uh, you must what? You must. Mm, you you must practice uh, your Chinese if you want to to learn it. No, if you want yep. to to talk to someone in Chinese. Uh, in Chinese, yep, yep, yep. And also too, the first part um, with the remember. Okay, you just want to say uh, you know you should practice your Spanish skills or you should sharpen your Spanish skills is a way to say that okay you know, okay yes, because they are good because your okay, skills are thank good you. <laughs> thank you so much so sharpen sharpens a good thing to say so you know I have to sharpen my English skills and yes that does come from like sharpening a sword all right okay mm -hmm. so good 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 Okay, so Maurice, uh, let's see. I'll let I'll let you wait one moment. So everybody else. Oh my gosh, there's another Mauricio. Boy, I I tried to <laughs> I turned my back for one moment, and there's a second Mauricio. Hello, Mauricio Para. Okay, that's okay. So I hope everybody's thinking of some advice to give. All right. Hello, Mauricio. So um, Luisa. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, give some give some advice and also tell somebody something that they must do. Okay? Okay. Um, you can you can pick anybody. Okay, next to me is Juan. Okay. Juan, you should drink two liters of water per day. And okay. and um Ah, uh, and you must wear 
Sean Black. No. Um, how do you say? Uh, sun block or sun protection? Yeah, okay. ah, it was right, sun block. Okay. Yep. <laughs> you yep. must wear sun block. Yep, to protect yourself from the from the rays. Okay. Uh, Juan, uh -huh. go ahead. You can ch you can choose anybody. Um, Give them some advice and tell them something that they must do as well. Um, I don't know. Jackdish? Yeah. You should. You should. Um. Uh, what what's the first? Must or should? Maybe depend on you. Uh, okay. You should. You should uh, assist assist the classes every day. Sure. Thank you for advice. Uh, you must study for the quiz. Okay, go ahead and, and um, Jagdish. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, give mm -hmm. uh, give some advice and also tell somebody so what they should do and what they must do. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> and to give advice uh, to Mr. Abdas. Um, Mr. Abdas, you should. Um, Go for exercise for your I health. Really yeah. uh, for your good health, and um, as uh, I told earlier, don't you should not uh, smoke in public area. I don't smoke already. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good, good. And uh, Abdus, give somebody yes, else uh, some uh, some advice, and then also tell them something that they should do or uh, must do. Um, I can use all of them. Uh, we should. Uh, we should. Uh, we must take um, English classes of Colingo to learn as early as possible and uh, Brett sir you should help us out in it okay got it got it okay and then um, alright and then uh, Denise I'm here mm -hmm. go ahead okay um, let me see. Um, you must wash your hands before to eat, before to eating, and okay. you should you should save money to go on vacation. Yep, you should save money to go on vacation. Yep, yep. Well, also too though, yeah, because you don't want to use a credit card um, in order to. Um, in order to pay for your vacation because then you'll go in debt yep and so Mauricio uh, Rodriguez so um, yeah with namesake though okay so the proper definition is yeah you guys do have the same namesake but the way that we use it in the United States is like we name stuff people also say you know to protect your namesake so for instance uh, you know if there was another older tutor they might say, "Hey, young Brett Tudor, um, you know, protect the namesake, protect our name of, of Tudor. Don't uh, go out and do bad things." All right. Mm -hmm. So, namesake and that is almost like a um, not a hereditary thing at all, but uh, it's like protecting your a good name, the namesake in there. But it also, too, by definition, it is. Uh, even though I hadn't have, don't hear people say it, it is if you have the same or similar name all right okay. so in the in the case of Mauricio Parra and Mauricio Rodriguez and I want to say to say hello to Mauricio using that term how can I how can I do how can I well uh, yeah hello? but uh, yes yeah I, you know I don't know of a um, I don't know of another uh, another term that you would use in that right 
So, uh, so namesake, you know, is um, is what you would what you would use, right? Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, in the United States, we just don't use it like that. It isn't common, you know. You just mm -hmm. say, "Hey, we have the same first name, right?" Uh -huh. That's all and we that's do. It. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, but namesake, Mauricio, right. mm -hmm. uh, I think that you are telling that. Because in Spanish, we say tocayo to another person who has the same name. But I yeah. think that in English, in English, there, there isn't any defini definition of that word. There is uh, a word in English for that word in Spanish. Yeah, no, yes, but he, he, he is right, though. Okay, so he is, so thank you for pointing that out, Denise. But he is correct, though. Namesake is a person, place, or thing with the same name. And what I'm saying, though, is we really don't make use of that term. Okay, it's one of those terms that, by definition, that's what it is. But we just don't make a, uh, we just don't make use of it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, it's only a comment. Uh, how we have uh, we have the same name, but that's it. Yeah, we have the same name. That's it. Yeah. You know, I'll but share this quiz Spanish? with you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Go ahead. Well, I I just want to say that in Spanish, when you know another person with your say with the, your name, usually you usually say, "Hey, hello, Tocayo." <laughs> But yeah, I think it name. doesn't exist that in English. Yeah. No, in, in the U.S., you know, the most somebody would say is, oh, wow, we have the same name, you know? Like if I meet another Brett, hey, it's pretty cool. We And so we also say, say this, um, share the same name is another thing that we say. You know, we share the same name, you know? Even though we, well, I guess you do share the same name. But um, but yeah, those are those are different terms on how we use that. Okay, so good. So I'm going to get out just a few minutes early, just because we're going to have another class coming up. Okay, and um, you know it'll be on reading and write. If you all want to join, if you do like, not everybody likes these reading and writing classes. But what we'll do is we'll um, we'll be looking into sentence structures and so forth, how to revise paragraphs and things like that. Okay, Mauricio, always a pleasure. And thank you very much uh, for the correction and also the invitation to class, okay? Uh, Mauricio Parra, nice to meet you. Luisa, always a pleasure. Juan, you're welcome to my class anytime. Welcome to Colingo, okay? Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Sure Enjoy some more. You're welcome. Jagdish, I'm glad I got your name right, okay? Thank you. And I'm glad to have you in class. Denise, Denicia, thank you very much for helping out, okay? Yes, and, I enjoyed uh, the class. Good, good, good. And Abduz, always a pleasure, Abduz. Okay. Thank really you, good sir. class today. Great participation. I sincerely appreciate it. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Brad. Bye. And Happy New oh, Year. Nice Happy New Year. Bye bye. Yep. bye. I'm afraid.